Well, g'day everybody, and welcome to episode one of Ships at Sea. This is developed by uh, Miscellaneous Games in Unreal, or Miss Games, sorry, my apologies, uh, in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, they've been gracious enough to send me a key. Um, these guys did Fishing Barren Sea and Fishing North Atlantic. Two absolutely incredible ocean bearing games though they, they were both fishing games in this one in uh, ships at sea uh you can do service work you can do uh it's like service and repair work you can do cargo running you can do um uh, fishing if you want to so it's uh it's it's released into early access now and it is available now you can grab yourself a copy down below um fishing barren sea was absolutely incredible it was an incredible game and they bought out Fishing North Atlantic. And to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with that in the beginning. But they jumped on top of it. And it is now an absolutely magnificent game. Ships at Sea has been released in uh, into early access. And I personally strongly believe that this will become an absolutely amazing game. Um, Miss, Miss Games, uh, they, they will work on it. They'll work on it very, very hard. And... Um, it also has multiplayer for those of you that love playing multiplayer with people. Uh, I may do some multiplayer streaming if uh, if some of my community get this game, and I'm sure that uh, many of them will. So a big thank you to Miss Games. Let's get stuck straight into a career. What I'm plan on doing is I plan on uh, starting the game now in episode one, doing a stream of it tonight, which will probably be episode two through to four and then uh continue on uh, continuing on with a uh, a recording series after that so ships at sea guys let's get stuck straight into it let's start a new career and we won't skip the tutorial uh just so you guys can see what you will be experiencing when you play the game we are in norway and in the Nor islands of norway so freezing cold but beautiful Okay, let's do our character customization. Let's be a female, obviously. And uh, we've got dock worker, we've got fisherman, fisherman two, uh, we've got fisherman three, uh, fisherman four, dock worker one, dock worker two. What are we gonna wear? Oh my goodness, let's take the hat off, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, let's go orange. That looks nice and warm, actually, <laughs> for where we are up in Norway. As an Aussie, there's no way that uh, that I could handle it. Let's uh, save that. All right, welcome to Chips at Sea. You've just arrived in Ross to start a new maritime career. Go to the office and take your first mission to get started. Okay, so we can look around. We can run. Okay, lovely. It, it's looking very... Fishing North Atlantic and Fishing Barrett Sea. Look, there's some lovely ships over there. So we basically need to... Uh, now, you don't need to take one particular career. Like, you can run cargo. And then you can uh, go and do some fishing. And you can also do... Uh, you can also do repair work and stuff like that. You don't necessarily need to... Um, um, to, to just concentrate on, on the one career. You can, obviously, as you go, build up money. Uh, build up finances buy new boats bring on new jobs and all that type of stuff so there's a fishing market and there's a and, and all that type of stuff as well as a cargo market which is fantastic so that's a good way to do it this is done with new ocean figure physics in um um which uh, i believe they're they're continually working on now one of the things that i always really really wanted in um, fishing North Atlantic and stuff was the ability to have storms and really rough seas. Now there is storms and really rough seas in this. Uh, it, the storms are being developed at the moment. They've, they haven't been implemented. But the seas with the new Unreal Engine 5 physics and stuff are absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So um, looking very forward to experiencing storms when they eventually come out. Your boats, you do get damage on your boats, so you do need to be really, really careful um, in, in how you run things. So, all right, let's head into the office. Let's head into the office. We need to deliver some medicine. Uh, deliver medicine from Rost to uh, Langver. 
I, I will not pronounce these right. The distance is three nautical miles. The cargo type is extra small. And we get 20,000. Um, what is it? Uh, quart? Quart? Is the... I'm not sure. Uh, 20,000 quart or something like that. So we need to load our cargo on the boat. That's our boat. <laughs> we start off with a rowboat. How appropriate. Let's uh, grab the cargo. And now you do need to load your ships and stuff. You can see over here, when we get into bigger boats and larger cargo, this is just small cargo, uh, we have cranes and stuff that we will need to operate to load our boats, to load the heavier cargo. And we will need to balance the cargo on our bigger boats when we on our boats when we load that stuff. So that is pretty cool. Let's board the boat and we've got our cargo. And let's uh nope, we're going this way. Let's <laughs> let's let's get out of here. Oh, let's undock first. <laughs> there we go. And we'll uh we'll row ourselves out of here. All right, so we are going. Um, we are going to Lingavia Vue. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so let's have a look on the map. Uh, down here is where we are going. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go back. Oh, my apologies. Let's go back into the map and let's uh, remove that. Remove route node. Let's uh, add a route node there. Add a route node here. It's going to take us a while <laughs> to get across there. Most definitely. So here's the map. I mean, have a look at that. Once we get into bigger boats and stuff like that, there's a lot of stuff. There's fish farms. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention that there's fish farms and you can buy a fish farm. There's refueling stations. There's points of interest and all that type of stuff. So uh, absolutely lovely. All right, so... Let's uh, get out of here and let's start rowing. There we go. <laughs> it's a tough way to. It's a tough way to go. There we go, and off we go. Off we go. We're gonna row out. <laughs> row for three hundred meters. I mean, it's not too bad, is it? Three hundred meters, and you do have to. Um, you do definitely have to control uh the way you row with your oars as well which is fantastic all right now you can see in the uh bottom right hand corner there is uh um there is the um uh the current health or repair status or damage status of our of our boat uh which at the moment is uh is you know it's 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 perfectly fine simi hasn't hit anything yet now you can capsize boats so you do have to be really, really careful with that as well. Look at that. Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> Romeo. Okay, I, I read that wrong. I just read meow. Uh, Romeo. So there are, a, uh, there are a few different boats. So I think there's seven types of boats that we can put in here. So... We can, uh, we can hold down shift and row faster. But uh, this is around the islands of... Uh, oh, I'm not exactly sure exactly where it is, but uh, what a way to start, hey? Could you imagine rowing over there? There we go. We'll get that going. Get some more. <laughs> Poor old Simmy. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd be completely and utterly worn out already. There we go. We'll control those oars with our left and right and stuff. And uh, head off. The seas at the moment aren't too bad. They aren't too bad. And uh, as you guys know, who, you guys who have watched me uh, playing fishing North Atlantic and stuff, I'm somebody who just won't, I won't in real life get in a boat. I just don't like the idea of getting in a boat. Check the wake out. We've entered a fish habitat. Ooh. Lovely. Lovely. Now, I think you can do just just plain hand line, uh, hand line fishing as well. I think you can buy a hand line. And we'll check all that out in our first look here too. We'll keep rowing. Let's, uh, let's keep rowing fast. It looks like we've got a dock over here. 
over here that we can dock at, which is good. And we'll try not we'll try not to damage our boat. So, um, yeah, looking very forward to a career. I've always said that we need we need something that's kind of a a, a bit of an open world um, sort of ship simulator or or or, uh, or, or boating simulator and. Uh, I think this is going to fulfill a little bit of a gap. It's going to take, um, it's going to take a few, uh, let's dock here. Lovely. Boat docked. Lovely. Let's exit the boat. I'm assuming that we're going to take our cargo with us. We are. Um, now I think, um, I think that, I think it's really going to sort of fulfill a little bit more of, uh, people's desire to be able to, uh, uh, to, to be able to do stuff in boats and stuff. Um, Without sort of being just purely, look at the, it actually looks fantastic. The Unreal Engine 5, I love it. And um, without, without sort of people being, to, without being um, restricted to just fishing, restricted to just fishing. Now this is, uh, this is one in one scale of the area around, uh, around where the, uh, where the game's set as well. So um, I must, I must do a little bit more research. Let's place our cargo down there. And we have completed our delivery. Uh, we got 20,000 for that. And we've got uh, Crone. Crone? Might be. Uh, and 250 experience. We travel 0.3. We got uh, 34 XP for travel experience. And a total experience of uh, 284. Do they have an office over here? Uh, no, congratulations on keep completing your first mission. Go back to the office and get your next mission. So we need to head back again. So what I might do is uh, I might um, I might row back. Uh, we can teleport. Uh, if you row back to the port yourself, you'll gain 150 experience points. Uh, or otherwise we can row back. Um I think what I'll do is I will I will row back, and uh, and I'll um and I'll sort of cut it out so that you guys don't have to see me row, rowing all of this way. It's I mean it's it's not too far to be honest, so not too far at all. So I can sort of head back and row back, but um super super excited. Can we go into first person view? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there we go let's do that there we go first person view we've got a fishing knife there and a hammer who doesn't need a hammer when you're out in a boat right you know, donk sharks on the head now you can also do you can also do um, um, tourism stuff so you can you can grab tourists and put them on your boat it doesn't at the moment show the tourists on your boat but you can take them out to do whale watching, which uh, which again is pretty cool. So, yeah, there you go. All right, I'll see you guys when we get back to the office. All right, we are back at the office. One thing that I have noticed is that um, that drift, uh, current drift, and stuff like that tends to uh, tends to have a little bit of an effect on your boat. <clears throat> Probably not as much on larger boats, but uh, but definitely on this one definitely on this one and we did manage to not uh, we did manage to not uh, not upset this boat <laughs> and not damage it <laughs> let's uh, have a squeeze in here there's our player we've got a handheld radio and we don't it's, it's not showing any boats at the moment probably because we we're uh, we're just using a rowboat so uh, if we tab in we can see the player and, and we do have a license system in here uh, and that obviously goes up automatically dependent on, you know, the more work that you do do. We have skill points here. We have experience and skill points here and uh, a few stats there. We also have missions. These are completed missions here. So that's the one that we just did. We have a skill tree. Um, inventory slots, eco driving, friends in high places, crewmate plus one plus two and plus three that's pretty cool so hopefully they're going to have crew members in it as well like we did in um like we did in uh, uh fishing north atlantic and fishing barrent sea uh teamwork personal safety um what do we do maybe 
And this is our boat at the moment. <laughs> this is our little boat at the moment. All right, and she's docked at the moment. The your versatile starter boat that can be used for transporting extra small cargo and fishing with a jigger. Lovely. And there is is also the uh, the massive... Um, uh, well, they usually have really extensive uh, help menus in here as well. So, uh, fuel station skills, weather, fishing, uh, jigging, which is a uh, jigging is a fishing technique involving one or more anglers and a lure that moves up and down with quick jerks to attract fish. Teaches you how to do all of that. Uh, bait. So we could, we could, we could actually, we could actually go out and do a little bit of fishing. If we buy one of those. There is a store here. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. I think it might be here. Yeah, it is. So here's the store. At the moment, there's nothing to purchase because we're still sort of doing the tutorial. So um, we may get to do that at the moment. Go to go back there. Repair C marker. Uh, a C marker has broken down. Help repair it. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's exactly what we're going to do. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to buy a power drill, a light bulb, and a fuse. Uh, we need to buy a power drill, purchase a fuse, and a light bulb. Purchase all of those. Uh, row with the boat to the C marker. All right. So if we have a squiz on, uh, if we have a squiz on the map, we can actually remove. Uh, remove that, we can remove that, and we can remove that. Now, is uh, the C marker's over the other side, so we can head around there easily enough. Right, we have all of our stuff. Uh, once we've done the tutorial and stuff like that, then there will be more stuff available in the... Um, there we go. There will be more stuff available in the store, so we'll be able to buy the uh, fishing lines and all of that stuff. Let's see if I can do this and head out this way. So uh, a little bit of a slow start, and there will be a little bit of a grind, but you can um, you can take out loans. So we're probably in this series going to take a loan out for our first uh, powered boat so that we're not uh, just rowing around like this the whole time. But... Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited about having a nice career um, uh, that's not just purely based around uh, based around fishing. So we probably will do um, some of the. Uh, there we go. We we'll probably will do so. We'll, like we'll do whale watching. We'll do a bit of cargo, and we will definitely do some fishing and all that type of stuff while we build our finances up. So. We've currently got 29,643 crone. We need to go around the other side of this port. I will see you guys when we get to uh, our next destination. I'm definitely very much, uh, very much enjoying the, uh, the water physics so far. I like the splashes and stuff. I like the reflections. I haven't set this up to absolutely maximum settings either. And uh, I probably will, actually, and we'll see how it runs. It should run pretty good. Um, it should run very good, in fact. So uh, I'll probably show you what settings I am running it at. But at the moment, it's looking pretty good. Definitely looking pretty good. So, yeah, <laughs> look at the little wake. We are rowing. Thankfully, we don't have a stamina. <laughs> if we... Uh, if we did have a stamina, then uh, I would be absolutely and utterly knackered by now. But uh, there is day and night in this as well. You can see a lantern hanging on the uh, hanging on our boat, and I was wondering, uh, I was wondering what might happen with the lantern, whether it turns on automatically, whether we can turn it on. All right, so this looks like uh, this looks like the marker that we need to get to. So. Uh, let's see, you're now close to the C marker. In order to climb C marker, you must get close to it. Uh, switch to first person camera and then interact with it. All right, let's get close for starters. We'll see if we can get in here without damaging our boat. Yes, yes, yes. 
And we'll go into first person and we'll climb it. Lovely. All right. So what do we need to do? Uh, let's see. How do we how do we get our drill out? And we're not like that, Simi. That's not how you get your drill out. Uh, let's use the drill and let's remove these screws. All right. So there will be repairs and all that type of stuff. I have seen footage of putting a boat fire out, which is pretty cool as well. Okay, that looks, uh, let's open the door and we need to, oh, there's light colors and everything in here. So we've got a circuit breaker here and we need to replace that with a new one. All right, lovely. Look at the objective in the mission menu to see what needs to be done. To open up the cover, you'll need to use the power. Yep, we've done that. And we need to remove that cover and swap that light bulb out, add the cover back again. And... I'm guessing, um, what color do we have to do it at? Uh, just close the cabinet. So let's, oh, set light blinking, change the color to green, set light blinking to three. Okay, lovely. Let's uh, change the color to green and set light blinking to three. Uh, let's see. A speed switcher. Increase speed. There we go. I reckon that's it. All right, cool. Let's close that and let's put these screws back in. Get that all nice and tight so that no little Max can uh, head out here and uh, and mess with it. Okay, so uh, replace light bulb and circuit. We've done. We've got a twenty thousand repair payment. We travelled point three nautical miles again. And we got some more experience. Lovely. All right. Can we, uh, can we unuse that? Doesn't look like we can. Let's disembark. There we go. Uh, all right. Lovely. I'm going to row back again uh, because we're going to do some fishing now while we're still doing the tutorial. So I will see you guys when we get back there. I want to get as many points as I possibly can. So... Look at that big fishing boat over there. That's a huge trawler. Um, who, who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk that, uh, <laughs> like I know thunk isn't a word, but um, who would have thought that rowing a boat in a game would actually be, uh, would actually be, <laughs> be really, really satisfying? The, the physics and the and the way you need to row and the way you need to turn and, and keep your boat oriented the way that it needs to be oriented and stuff like that is really really well done and uh, I would never have uh, I would never have thought that I would have had fun uh, just rowing a boat around but I have looking uh, pretty good there hopefully we'll see some uh, some sort of bigger seas and stuff as we go we need to buy ourselves a jigger so I'm guessing as a hand rod yeah and jigger for fishing a small amount of fish. Let's purchase one of those. Thank you very much. Unlock the jigging skill. Now we need to unlock our jigging skill. Where is our jigging skill? Uh, fishing over here. Faster reeling, faster jigger. Let's, oh, you know what? We didn't look at all of this. Let's acquire that skill. Uh, deckhand. Small crane operator, medium crane operator, large crane operator. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. Deck cleaning, fishing, long liner, net, fresh bait, few more minutes. Fast sorter, faster gutting. Uh, basic engineer, basic electrician. So this is obviously for uh, repairing, repair jobs and stuff like that. Fire safety. That's pretty cool. Skilled oiler. Uh, equipment will wear down 30% slower. And then we've got our general ones as well. Very, very nice. Okay, uh, enter a fish habitat. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go and uh, enter our fish habitat. I do apologize that I am. I, I want to show you guys as much as I can, um, you know, initially. Uh, let's undock. Let's try and get out of here without damaging our boat. Try and spin around. Wrong way, Simmy. Wrong way. Spin around this way. Fish habitat's over there. We actually, we actually see so you need to counteract. So 
Um, if you're if you're turning right to slow it down and point in the right direction, you need to go left as well after you finish just to straighten the boat up or to keep it uh, keep it in line. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's row out here and see if we can't find ourselves some fish, eh? We will find a suitable place. Now, there is uh, fish radar and stuff in this, as far as I'm aware, as there is in uh, Barents and uh, Atlantic. Fishing North Atlantic as well, so... Obviously, when you get into bigger and better boats, so... But uh, I definitely want to get to the point where we uh, get ourselves into a powered boat, even if it's just a small one, just to begin with. We'll see how we go. What I might do is uh, I might also change my settings to Absolute Ultra. And uh, we'll see how we go. I'm running a 3060 Ti, 64 gig of RAM uh, with a Ryzen 9 5900X. So let's see how it goes on that. All right. So we're on Ultra. You can see on Ultra for everything, shadows and everything. And you can see uh, you can see how much it's changed the, the look of the game as well. Unfortunately, it's uh, probably a little bit too tough for my system. So I will change them back a little bit and we'll see how we go. We'll go into video and we'll drop everything down to high. I reckon... Um, uh, determines the quality of visual effects and lighting in the game. Let's let's move those down to high. Uh, post processing, um, I think, I think we might drop that down to medium. Foliage will drop down to high. Shader uh, increases shaders used. This uh, setting improves the quality of surfaces. So we'll drop that down to high as well. Let's uh, let's see how that goes. Again, it'd be just good for you to uh, you guys to see. And that is pretty good. She looks nice, doesn't she? Uh, not her in the boat. Well, she looks nice as well. Let's admit it. But uh, I mean the game. The game is looking good. So these are all on high settings. I can mess with it a little bit more at some point in time. And we can see, uh, we can see what we get in regards to... Uh, in regards to a really good balance. But uh, the visuals are actually pretty good all right here we go you've arrived at a fishing habitat the next step is to catch some fish equip the jigger from the inventory item be careful when reeling in the fish if it fights back the line can break when the line's red so try to limit the reeling to when it's uh when there's little resistance look there's uh birds around which probably indicates you can see those flying up there in the top near the uh near the compass which indicates that there's uh fish around look at them diving in to get the thing so equip the jigger, look into the water and de uh, deploy a lure, reel out lure until you hit the seabed. Uh, click the mouse button when the circles are green, hold the mouse button to reel in fish. Now try to catch three fish. Lovely. Let's do it. Let's go into there. Let's use that. And we will, uh, let's see, the cast line. Let's cast the line. Looks like we're down the bottom. Press that to bounce and press that to reel. Hmm. Do we just hang it down there? Maybe we do. The water looks so good, doesn't it? My God. There we go. Am I clicking when it uh, when it goes green? I'm guessing that I am. Jigging line has snapped. Oh bugger! That doesn't help, does it? Proceed to cast the line. Uh, look in the water. Deploy the loot. Reel out the until you hit the seabed. Let's go back down until we hit the seabed. Uh, then it says hold the mouse. Uh, click the mouse when the circles are green. Okay. 
So you've got to be quick. I'm I'm useless at being quick when it comes to little quick time events like that. So let's uh, drop this back in. Drop it down. Thankfully, we didn't have to go and buy another one. Okay, watching. And hold that to real. Oh, the jigging line snapped again, so I'm reeling in a little bit too fast. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's see if we can get ourselves a fish. Reel it in. I can't see... I can't see the red. Oh, you can kind of just see... I'm going to just see the, the, the line go red, so you've got to be really careful of that. Let's keep trying to reel him in. Oh, going red again. Let it just rest. Let the fish rest for a little bit. Not go too red. I'd like to see that a little bit more red. There we go. Give it a little bit of a uh, little bit of a sleep there. Reel it in. No, she's a bit tough. There we go. We've got a little bit there. Tired. And going red. You can only, you can faintly make it out. That might be uh, settings on my computer or something that's doing that. But uh got to be really careful. It takes a long time. I hope we get a lot of money for this fish. Seriously, look at that. We're nearly there. No. There we go. Given a little bit of a run. Can sort of see when the fish is when the fish is running and when it when it's not, so we can reel it in a little bit more, let it run a little, and there we go. We get a little bit out of that. Be careful, be careful, Simmy. Nice, nice, fun. Okay, Let's see if we can. No, no. Oh, it's taken us a while to catch this fish, isn't it? I'm just keeping my eye on that line because that line goes red. It starts to, uh, sometimes it starts to stretch really, really easily. Like that. And here we go. Fish is coming. Fish is coming. There we go. Don't get too excited, Simmy. Don't stretch the line too much. There we go. And we have done it. We have caught ourselves a fish. Great job. You've caught a fish. Only two fish left. <laughs> Only two fish left. I think I've got it now. It did take a while, though. It definitely did take a while. So I'm guessing we're bouncing this around on the bottom. Don't, don't stretch the thing. Keep testing it. There we go. We've got a good one there. Let it run for a little. You can kind of you can kind of see when it slacks off a little bit as well when the when the fish like what the, oh it jumped out of the water. Are you serious? And we missed it. We'll have to watch it again. There we go, we'll get some more in. Don't snap the line. There we go. Is it going to jump out again? No. Thought it was going to. Oh, she's uh, definitely pulling. Don't, uh, don't lose it. All right. Here we go. I feel like you got to kind of keep testing it out as well. To see if you get a little, uh, see if you get a little, uh, Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Out the water it goes. Love it. All right. She's a, uh, she's a feisty one this way. Hey, holy moly. It's a flying fish. Going to take, there it goes again. <laughs> it's a big fish too. Uh, I could sit here for like, like 15 hours in real life and I would never... <laughs> I still wouldn't have caught a fish. 
That's my real life. There we go. There we go. Give us a good one. That's it. Reel her in. So you do need a little bit of patience, as you do with uh, with real fishing. Oh, yeah, that got a little bit... Uh, it started to get a little bit red. I like it so far. I like it so far. There we go. In you go. And up she goes as well. Can't jump quite as high because it's on the end of uh it's on the end of a uh a very short rod now. Oh, there it <laughs> There it goes. Oh mate, it's moving around, isn't it? It's a fast fish. Must be red. There we go. Doesn't want to be caught. I can uh, I can I can give you that much for nothing. There we go. Let's see if we can get it in a little bit more. Oh yeah, really pushing around. Really, really, really pushing around. Nearly got him. They're definitely, definitely making you work for your fish. Definitely. Which isn't a bad thing, to be honest. Not a bad thing at all. There we go. We've got ourselves another fish. <laughs> one left. I'm going to catch the next one without you guys watching. See how we go, yeah? Down we go to the bottom. And off we go. Okay, we've nearly got this little one. Um, little one. It's, it's actually quite a, quite a large fish. It's, it's, actually when you, it's, actually, it's actually quite intuitive, to be honest. It is actually quite intuitive. Um, you can you can hear the sound and you can hear the um, um, you can you, you can hear the sound and you can kind of um, you can kind of feel the uh, you can kind of feel the I don't know. Um, it, it's sorry, dogs barking. Um, can't get out of uh, I can't get out of using this so uh, can we can we go to that view no I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to uh, stop fishing there we go just pressing X did it lovely lovely um, yes. So what I was saying, what I was, what I was saying was that you can, you can start to sort of almost feel the, uh, almost feel the line and feel when you need to, to sort of back off and you've got to test every now and again and listening as well, more than, uh, more than the visual. That's what I found to be, uh, to be the better way to do it. We now need to go and sell this at the fish market. So let's head across and do that, shall we? I've uh, I've got the hub turned off. You can uh, oh no, 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 no. There we go. You can uh, you can turn the hub off anytime you want. If you don't need the map up and you want to just enjoy the visuals, enjoy the visuals. So here we go. So we've got three fish. Now we can sell the fish that you caught. How many fish do we have? It's saying we've got five fish. Yeah, it is. It is. We've got uh, cod. Hmm. Okay. I think that's saying that we've got five fish. Get that around. Brighten up a little bit. Lovely. All right. Let's get over and uh, let's get over and see if we can uh, sell this fish. See how much money we get for fish. We've got forty nine thousand in the uh, in the coffers, which is pretty cool. And then hopefully at some point uh, before the end of this uh, episode, we're going to get to have a look at what other what other boats we can do. But we may end up just having to follow through with the um, with the tutorial until we get to that point where we can actually just start doing our own thing. So, which is good. I mean, it's worth doing the tutorial when you uh, when you're starting out a new game. Anyway, I'm one of those people who. Uh, we'd go to Ikea and buy furniture and go, nah, don't need instructions. And I can do that perfectly fine. I have no troubles at all, but uh, especially with a trade background. But um, 
But uh, in games and stuff, uh, when I drop in without tutorials, I always tend to... Let's slow ourselves down. I always tend to mess myself up. So I'm starting to learn my lessons. Starting to learn my lessons. Spin that around a little bit. In we go. Still haven't managed to uh, damage, uh, damage our boat. There we go. Lovely. And let's exit the boat. Do we have fish? No, we just got them in our inventory. So, but there is a, a skill there to upgrade our inventory as well. So we need to go over to the fishery, which is actually over here. So obviously, once we get bigger boats, we won't be uh, we won't be docking them there. We'll probably we'll we'll definitely be docking them down there and stuff as well. But um, what I'd like to see, which I've always wanted to see in all in, in all all of these, at the moment there's no there's no AI boats out and about, as far as I'm aware. So. Uh, that sucks a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's going to come. Um, and, uh, like, I know Misk will do that and will put that in eventually, which is fantastic. But it'd be nice to see, just for ambient sake, other fisher people walking around, the docks, other boats coming in and departing and stuff like that. That would be fantastic. So what do we got there? Uh, lost job mat ass. I don't know what that means. Uh, and here is the fishery. Let's enter the fishery. We've got, uh, oh, that's what it is. We've got two. We've got two of those. And the small one, they won't. Yes, the small ones, they will buy. So we did have three fish. Uh, what are we going to get? We're going to get 468. Sell those fish. And to fish. Fishing tutorial is done. Lovely. What's it going to do? You, uh, you've now completed all of the tutorial tasks. The next step is to buy a new ship. But you'll need money to do so. You can continue doing missions and fish, fishing. Once you've earned uh, 50000 you can finally buy your first real ship. Where do we buy that from? Probably the shop. Let's let's go and see what we've got at the shop, shop while we're at it. Look at that. Look at that. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? moisture on the dock there and stuff like that so these are the cranes that uh that we will be using at some point in time to uh load cargo and stuff this one's a heavier one and uh we'll probably only be licensed enough to use one of those in the uh in the beginning so that's pretty cool somebody's got their boat all uh all wrapped up there all right so what do we got here let's have a look we've got a uh, a hook used to hook fish during fishing binoculars yes flashlights let's buy a flashlight and a battery yes most definitely uh various ping me tag your fishing gear with ping me from ah okay so that's uh, allows you to find your stuff parts we've got engines we've got replacement rotors for fish arms uh fuses replacement light bulbs uh, smolt tank, these are for, um, these are for when you're, um, doing fish farms, as far as I'm aware, and these are also for when you're doing fish farms, and these are the, uh, these are the stacks and stuff that you've got to load on, looks like you could probably load these on a smaller boat, these ones you've got a 100 kilos you've got to load with the crane, so... There we go. Uh, earn 50k is what we are going to need to do, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we'll have jobs in here. Repair C marker and deliver medicine. Um, these jobs will help us get to 50,000. So, um, so I might end up doing that and then we'll have a look at the boat. So if you just bear with me, I shall uh, do one of these jobs. That's worth 65. That one's worth 65 as well. Uh, extra small cargo so i'm going to accept that i'm going to drop that cargo off i'm uh i'm going to uh come back once i'm back here and see if we can't buy ourselves that boat which will be fantastic so i'll see you guys then okay so we did finish <laughs> we did finish that and we ended up with a hundred and something thousand dollars and simi made a big mistake simi forgot to uh forgot to press record of course he did. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go through all of that again. You can see the Vegemite here. Uh, this is the first boat that we bought. Now to buy your boat, you go into here, 
And uh, in here, you can have a look at the uh, types of boats. Uh, you've got your, your rowing boat there. You've got, uh, you've got uh, well, this is like a little cargo boat here that we actually purchased, which is really, really cool. Uh, that was the first one that we did. And I did do deck outs on it. I'll show you those in a sec. Um, we've got the Dr. Phil here, which is a cargo boat. Uh, it takes extra small, small and medium cargo. Runs at 14.5 knots. It's worth 950,000. It's a tier two boat. So we'll probably work towards that at some point. This is obviously the uh, smaller of the fishing boats. Um, this was 99,000. I think we paid, I think we paid 45 for our boat, I reckon. Um, but uh, this does uh, 10 ton of cod, 12 ton of ha haddock, uh, pollock. They're, the, uh, they're the, the fishing quotas that it does have. Uh, and supported rigging of long line. And it also does extra small cargo. Our boat does extra small and small cargo. So that's why I went with that one for starters. Uh, then you've got the larger fishing boat, the Conquest. Uh, the Conquest does only extra small cargo, but it's supported for long line, net, and light cargo. Um, you know, 10 fishing gear, and then you've got all of your fishing quotas down the bottom there. Uh, we can move into the service boat, which does extra small and small cargo. That's pretty cool. Uh, and it can also support a manual water cannon, which is pretty cool. And then up at 6.95 million dollars or whatever you call it knock uh we have the Charvin, which is a service boat as well does the remote water cannon very fast it's at uh, 28 knots and it's tier two it does extra small and small cargo so um as i was mentioning earlier then there are jobs where you go out and put other boats um that are on fire you go and put them out so that's what we did um we, uh, if I go back to the active boat, uh, you can do upgrades on here. You can obviously name it and stuff. I can't see, uh, you can sell, uh, these upgrades. Um, we did, uh, I, I didn't upgrade the throttle. Uh, I didn't upgrade the steering wheel, but you can see that there's different types of steering wheels here that you can put on the boat. We'll probably eventually go for the alpha spoke too, I guess. Uh, that one has a knob. And I was, uh, I was saying that uh, if I'm driving the boat and I'm holding that steering wheel, that steering wheel already has a knob on it. So I don't know why it needs to have another one. Don't know why it needs to have another one. Uh, in here, oh, no, my, my apologies. Uh, if we go next, um, we started off with the standard two-blade uh, two um, boat propeller. There are additional ones. I actually went to the Goldfish um, for more efficiency uh, to the engine and a higher top speed. So I purchased that and I actually installed it on the boat as well. Uh, engine wise, um, I went up the next level of, of engine, the MBR L95. You can go up to a 145 on this boat, uh, which was sort of out of our price range because we only had like 114 grand or something to spend. So I went one up on the uh, on the original engine. You can also change your fuel tank over. Uh, couldn't afford that either. Um, but you can see on the um, you can see on the uh, on the preview there on the fuel gauge, it shows um, those sort of fuel and stuff like that. So you can do that, which is probably a really good thing. You can also buy a searchlight and put a searchlight on it. At the moment. Um, do we need it? We already have one on there anyway. We've already got a sunlight one on there. Uh, rigging wise, you can do an external fuel tank, uh, which mount a 2000 litre fuel tank on the boat used for transporting fuel. Because there are fuel stations right across the map and you do need to keep those fuel stations. Um, um, you do need to, to keep those fuel stations fueled up as you go and stuff because they do run out of fuel. Uh, small smalt, uh, small smalt tank which uh, which stores twenty thousand juvenile fish. 
Um, so you can transport those fish um, from port to deploy into fish farms. And we will look into that. I will definitely look into that. I'll, I'll probably do a few cargo jobs on stream tonight. And uh, and we'll also... Um, uh, we'll, we'll do some of these upgrades and we'll do some fuel transporting and we'll do... Uh, We'll do some fish farming and stuff like that so uh and you already have you also have repairs and stuff like that in here which is really really cool you can uh change your active boat from there if we had a look at the map uh you can see uh let's remove that sorry yes let's remove that pressing the wrong button fish farms are out here you can buy those for half a mil so there's also these points of interest that I want to explore as well. Uh, fuel stations there. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see the available fuel at those fuel stations. Now those fuel stations are already uh, those fuel stations are already very fueled up because uh, it's the it's the start of the game. So uh, we can go all the way down there. There's uh, large fishing habitats out there. And there's large fishing habitats out here. I like the, I like the mouse over. Gives you an idea on what type of fish are out there. So, uh, we've also got fish farms out here as well as there, and we've got fish farms out there too, as well as these points of interest. So there you go. That is the map. Other thing is, if you want to change your character, um, you can uh, make all of those changes here. Um, which would be good uh, with, with uh, multiplay so that everybody looks different and stuff. And your boat will get dirty and you do need to maintain it when it gets dirty. I don't know why it's dribbling water at the moment. But to do that, we can grab that, we can turn that on and we can go out and uh, we can wash our boat. As you can see. So uh, when our boat's dirty, we can go around and wash it, which is really cool turn you off and we will find the spot to put you down where is it there we go put that down as well you got to get up and uh, wash your decks and stuff as well as they get dirty this is the deck of our boat uh, if we jump in here thankfully there is uh, there is coffee facilities right here I don't know why they've got sugar on it because who'd have sugar in their coffee uh, so there's some uh, there's some lovely ground coffee there and I'm guessing in that blue container there's a little um there's probably a little gas stove that allows us to do that. No seat at this point in time. But uh there you go. It doesn't really really matter, does it? So looking forward to getting out on the seas. Cannot wait to do that. So um so that's it guys. Um that's that's my uh that's my sort of first episode i'm glad that i got through everything we're at the point now where we can just go and do whatever we want so i'm pretty happy about that um and um which is what i'm going to do on stream so i'll release this episode tonight i am streaming tonight i will stream this and uh and start building up the career and i'll probably drop that uh, or chop that up into little uh, hour-long episodes so Hit like if you've enjoyed this. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. And more stuff like this. Thank you everybody for watching. It's late evening. I will see you all next time. Bye.